um, tell us what you're looking at. It's a little little chunk of suave uh, that's come from that larger outcrop over there. It's probably andesitic and um, we think it fell from the sky. This generally, as happens. And there's quite an interesting little little thing in here. You might be able to zoom in on that. But basically, it's uh, there's a chunk of um, uh, of glass that has formed. It's highly vitreous, um, but actually, it's kind of quite sparkly. What's happened is there's a little chunk of carbonate inside it that's kind of reformed again afterwards. Um, yeah, and then there's a lot of these things, because the name for them locally is, is flarden, I think, mm. which is actually refers to I, a, either a round, flat type of bread or a cow pat. Um, and they, they were named after those things, then sort of when the things, the richest things land in the ground, sort of splat outwards. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's kind of most of what I know about this rock. So how, how would swayvite form? Well, so you get, you, get, you get the impact and it's, it's basically it's a, it's a breccia, so it's all the material that's thrown up into the air. Well, this swayvite is all the material that's thrown up into the air and then sort of comes back down over and the next few seconds. Down, yeah. yeah, and then it forms these beds of breccia. <laughs> oh, God, this made me laugh. I couldn't contain it anymore. <laughs>